Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on how to record your interviews in a noisy location. Now, I wrote a post a while back on our blog about how to do this and I've been getting questions on how to put the how to combine, assemble the equipment together so that you can record your interviews in a noisy location. So uh, first of all, let's have a look at the equipment that you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a, a recorder and obviously um, my top pick is obviously the Sony UX560. So that's the recorder that, that um, I recommend you get. In addition to that, you're going to need two microphones. These are clip-on microphones, okay? So they have a clip and uh, you clip them onto someone. Um, now, the, the microphones, the clip-on microphones that I recommend are the um, the giant screen microphone. Um, here I have one of them. I'm using the other one to record these videos. This is the Audio-Technica. Um, now, this is another one that I recommend, especially if... Um, the, you're going, there's going to be distance, a lot of distance be, between you and your interviewee. So it has a longer cable than the than the jazz squid. So I think this is 20 feet and the jazz squid is 6 feet. That's the second microphone that you're going to use. But, you know, for you, I would recommend you get two uh, jazz squid microphones. They're, they're the best. Uh, they are better than the Audio Technica. And I do have a post about um, what are my recommendations for the Crippon microphones. Uh, on our blog. So you're going to need two of them, one for you, one for interviewee. If you're going to have more than one one uh, participant in your, in your interview, then you can uh, you can use this setup for about to f up to four participants. So you and three other, uh, three interviewees um, using this setup. So two of these, and then you're going to need a splitter. This is what is going to split the, the input on the Sony is a stereo input. So it has two channels. So two channels, left and right and um, so this splits those channels into a mono and this is the tip this is the left and this is the the other tip that is the right so um it splits them into two channels so you can put one microphone here and the other microphone here the other people microphone here and it combines them and they are recording on different channels on the sony and i'm going to show you how that happens uh, so you're gonna need this this is the hossa splitter this is the one that i really like uh, there, there are a few others that I don't like, but this one's the one that I found to be really good. It's by Hossa, it's about five bucks um, on Amazon, so cheap. And I, I usually get like a three of them. Then if you're going to record in a noisy, noisy location, especially if you're going to record outside, outdoors, because of the wind, uh, you don't want to get out of wind noise. So that's why you want to um, have one of these. So these are, these are really good uh, for, for, for recording um, in uh, windy situations because they're going to cut out the wind noise, okay? And, uh, and finally, um, always, I always recommend you have a pair of headphones. So these are really earbuds, really. Uh, so I use this for my phone. And um, they're good so that they allow you to monitor your recording. And I do have an, an article about how to monitor your recordings on the Sony using a pair of headphones. So yeah, you go, go ahead on our blog and check that out. So how do you bring all this together? Okay, so you have your Sony. So this is the Giant Squid. Um, now, when you get it, the clip will not be on. So this one, and you need to put it on. Now, most people are going to be right-handed, okay? And so the easiest way that you need to put this is just make sure it's pointing away from you, okay? So it's pointing away from you, and then just come in here and just put it up like that. And then, so your participant or your interview, you just hold it and, you know, clip it on their on their T-shirt. So you, you hand it to them, they hold it using their right hand over here and they clip it to their t-shirt, right? Or their shirt or whatever, okay. So if it's you who is who is um, who is going to clip on, you know, some people, they will allow you to go into their own personal space. So they allow you to, you know, clip on the clip on microphone on them. Then you want to clip this clip on. It's facing you, okay, like this. Then you just come and slide it up again. And then you can go in and using your right hand, you can go in and clip it on them, on their shirt or something, right? So always you want this mic to be facing out. You don't want this mic to be in, to be right next to the shirt. You want it to be out so that there's no rustling noises, there are no touching noises or, or when you're recording a microphone. That's just a quick tip on how to um, how to use this, this clip on microphones. Okay, um, so we have two microphones. Again, here, here's the, the Jan Squid, okay? And uh, here is the Audio Technica. So this is what we're going to use. Now, so take, you take the Hossa Splitter, all right? 
and then one end just it doesn't matter which side you pick, plug it in just plug it in to one end one microphone to one end and then the other one into here okay so now you have a mono coming in and a mono coming in and that they're gonna come into a stereo here they're gonna record onto the onto the Sony um, onto each different channels so this is gonna go straight into the you know the mic the red you just plug it in right there and you have connected the two microphones to your Sony so if if you have more than one participants all right so you can let's say you have two two interviews you can get another one of these was a splitter those okay then you, you plug it into one of this and then you have now two extra ones so you can put uh, and, and your your mic one of your mic here and then the other mic right here okay so one mic here and the other one right here so that that's how you can record more than um you can connect more than two um clip on microphones or, or in, into the sony you just add um another hosa splitter and you can also do the same on this other side here and add another hosa splitter here so you can record up to one two three four uh, four people um, and then two of them will be on one channel and the other on the other two will be on the, the other channel but you know we're only doing for two this is simple and this is the most scenario where you're going to have a lot of uh, researchers are going to have come across this so uh, you know two in, in just them and um, an interviewee and and that's it so once you've connected the two of them okay then you come connect them here to your sony all right now uh, let's switch it on all right hit record okay I, I don't know if you guys can see this now that's better so you can see the left channel is actually um you are recording on the left channel by the right channel right here down below there's nothing so which tells me that my uh, this is my see this is my the red is the my right microphone i can tell that my right microphone is not working and that is this microphone and that is the audio technica now this all this microphone has a battery and i'm guessing the bike battery is dead so that's why it's not working i need to replace the battery on that let me take it off and um okay and let me get another one now of my microphones and let's see all right so here we go um uh, it's another one of my microphones so let me touch it all right let's here we go um, let's plug it in completely it's in and you can see right away you know you can see there's this movement on the right side because now this works right right my other microphone works so that's basically it connect the the clipper microphones to the splitter and then the splitter to your your recorder and one of the microphones you clip it onto your blouse or your shirt or your t-shirt you know and then the other one onto your interviewee and that's and that's it so that's it for this video hope you have enjoyed it hope you have liked it and you have learned something new i'll see you guys on the next video have a great weekend